never not a dose! Voted for Hunter, Flameshot, Silvanus. I think I'm ready. From Demon Hunter to Hunter. Let's do it. Is King Plush even good? I mean, Hydradon's the better one, like, by far. But uh, we can try King Plush, but I actually think it sucks. I, I failed to see how it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my fun is right, guys. With hand buffs. No, irrespectively. Let's pretend. Let's pretend. Right. Let's pretend. That plush has... That plush vanishes the entire board. How is that good? Plush me. Plush me. Plush me. Thank you for the resub, True Dilemma. I, I, I don't understand how Blush is fun. It's like a bad king crush. Yeah, so, so basically it's like king crush in Arena, right? It's when your deck sucks and you're behind. No, no, it also returns all of your own minions. It also returns all of your own minions to your deck. <laughs> like, it feels so bad. I will, I will try it. But I, I, I don't... I sincerely fail to get it. This will be probably the first and last time I'll play it. Draw many if it's a beast, draw a spell. Hmm. I like it because the board clear when you're behind. So basically, it's a mid card if you've lost the game. Then, so just pick the card that doesn't get you in that position, right, Elmo? Why don't you pick Hydradodon so that by turn 9 you've won, rather than by turn 9 you're dying and you can deal 6 to their face, right? No. I mean, I'll try it because it's new, but I just failed to see how it can even be remotely good. Another costume singer. No, but you also take the board? Yeah, but if you picked Hydradon, the game would be over. Hydradon doesn't clear taunt, so you need to close the game. But you can't close the game because the rest of your minions are also vanished, right? This vanishes all of your own board as well so basically if you if you're ahead this card is unplayable and if you're behind you've spent turn nine playing a six six right so this is only good if you, you're losing and at that point i'm not sure playing a six six or nine will exactly win you the game I'm trying it because it's a new card anyway, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna try it. It's a new card. Might as well give it a go. Just feels a little weird to me. Dead man, thank you for the follow. So as good as people think, but it does develop at the same time as a board clear, which is a sign of a stronger card. So basically a legendary level 2 mana more expensive tumbleweed. Sure. Agreed. But it also has charge for 2 extra mana and taking the legendary spot. 
Do you think it's better than Hydradon? Sincerely, Ivanovich. Furious Raz? Lovely to have you. Thank you very much, sir, for the three months. Let's take a camo mount. I think that card is primo. Little Raptorowski. A Revis. Miniaturize. The first time you cast a spell, gain plus two, plus two. Interesting. Yeah, I think it's not even remotely close, Ivanovich. It is cute, I will give it that. It is a cute plushie. <laughs> Man, this is a solid card. Is it better than Revy's? I'm gonna say no. Just a two? This is good. Panthara just ain't it anymore, right? What is the if you go with the Zul'jin Hunter Hero? I don't even know what Zul'jin is, KJ. <laughs> Probably build a deck that's still... Like, even though you pick a Legendary, you should not bait yourself into building a deck that works fully around it. That's more of a standard perspective, KJ. You need to build a strong deck independently of the cards, but if there are cards that are as strong and have synergy with it, then you lean into it. Yeah, it's still early game, I would say, Nello, but 66%? If you're compa if you're saying it's a top 5 legendary by comparing it to the legendaries and all classes, that's unfair because Hunter is so far ahead as a class that will naturally be better than all other classes' legendaries. Top 5 in Hunter. Still though, the difference between Hydradon and King Plush is 5%. That's what people consider a broken difference between number 1 and number 10 class, right? Let alone 2-2 two, two in similar cards or whatever. Hey, I mean, it's fine. Uh, moving on, yeah? <laughs> I want to try it out. It's a new card. It just feels really mid to me. And nothing will change my opinion on that. It's just what I feel. I don't know what to take here. I have quite a lot of beasts, but I think I just take a Panthaya. Monk is good. Toy Ranosaurus. Huh. This is good, guys. Yeah, so far it looks good. 100% agreed, Giggle. Hey, Zorgors. This card feels bad as well. I'll try it, but... Huh? Yo... Oh my god, shall we yodel? Yodel a <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, Arena leaderboard. Refreshed. Season started on all servers. All servers launch at the same time, always. I think we try Yodelehihu. Let's do it. The Garant is probably the worst of those new cards. Pickle King. Fangs is great. Harpoon Gun is also pretty good. Let's try Fangs. Reef Walker is still a solid card. Really need the threes. Alright, these are all primo. Yeah, the leaderboard will still be weird. Trippy. Trippopotamus. <laughs> Trippy. Seems comparable to the 5-6 scenario that summons a 5-6 rush if you have a weapon. That guy is kind of old though, huh? I'm tempted to take Tarantula. This is interesting because I also have the Yodels, right? Oh yeah, I mean, everyone that will be there right now, Shippopotamus, it's just not objectively possible to have played 30 runs, right? The thing is... Not all of them are maybe cheating. Like in the first live leader, boy, Chippopotamus. I know people that play legitimately that had retired like 40 runs. They just paid for 40 arena runs because they wanted a specific 12 0 druid. And uh, they just paid for 40 arena runs and spam retired them and end up with a 0.1 average. But they were in both of their accounts. 
You value early game? Me too. I think the discover pool kind of sucks, but I think I'm going with the tarantula here. We'll take the fangs. This, these are my early game pieces. The howdy fin? Because why not? Rexar's gift. Sure. I mean, I need secrets for a costume singer, but... Eh. Bear? Giggling toy maker. Summon two one to mix with Tone Divine Shield. Eh. Ooh, buzzies. Um, I would say, Gary, that I don't want to get into the whole conversation again, because yesterday people, for, 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 for mentioning things that people view in a negative light, they think I'm complaining and ranting constantly. But So apparently I can only converse about uh, positive stuff. Um, I think they are uh, similarly bad for the state of arena. I'll give you that though. But one of them is not against TOS, so there is a difference. I use Firestone Pep Exants. If you exclamation mark tracker, uh, it'll give you a list of all the different uh, trackers I use and have used. This one's Firestone. The overlay is part of the premium version though, please note. Um, but the win rates are still in the app. They just won't be overload on the game. But you can try it out for free, see if it's for you or not. I actually do think I need the early game. I don't want my deck to be too heavy. Try a little carry on studies. Buzzies. Macaw. Oh, Bone Drake is in. You ever take Trinket Tracker, guys? Bone Drake seems slow. I think I do take Trinket Tracker. <laughs> Which one's better here? I think it's Tremors. Right. Nutty Deck? Yeah. Agreed. Super naughty deck. More buzzards than I probably drafted in the entirety of last meta on one deck. Beautiful. Naughty. Alright, let's 12 it up! Yeah, the treasures are gone, Hermes. So King Flash is a 6-6 six, six charge that vanishes everything that has less attack than it randomly. Yeah, you had a rough one then for sure, Ivanovich. Ah, uh, you had a rough one for sure then, Ivanovich. It's just the way it goes, man. Still still low on uh still low on sample size, right? So people can equally like like, the last meta or the, or the meta before, I think it was the meta before, the showdown, the Badlands, not the mini set meta. Everyone was saying Death Knight is great, and uh, I couldn't throw a good one for the life of me. Hey, Lewis. Hurricane, thank you for the follow. Win prediction for this one. I'll let you guys get in a, a win prediction on this one. My right, prediction's up. Bet your beans. Gamba away. That's what you want to do, right? Gamba? Gamba away. Arena is so fun. Yeah, people liking it. So, can someone tell me? Quick shot is still two. Deadly shot is still three. Explosive shot is still five. Is that right? Ha <laughs> ha! 
not your father. Man, I'm almost tempted to draw here. Arena still gives Badlands packs. <laughs> yeah, I could have played Frenzied and just tempoed the 3 4. Thank you, Father. I managed to find someone who drafted six Fireland supporters yesterday. Someone drafted. Someone drafted. Um. Six frost strikes. Seven cost pad in art summons a six cost at the end of your turns is bugged. You get the third mini about half the time right now. Interesting, KJ. Are you about to fill me out all on the changes? Why have you not decided stronger classes, weaker classes? I mean, I can try. Duo Stranger is gone. Legendary first and only legendary still there. The meta has rotated, which means new season, new leaderboard, yada, yada, yada. Um, core set, Whizbang's Workshop, and the event set, which is the prizes, these, the gifts, are in. And then the rest of the rotation is... A curated pool from every expansion. For whatever that's worth. Uh, strong classes seem to be Hunter, Death Knight. Weak classes, I don't really know. Everything seems super strong. He's like GG. Yeah, this is a strong deck in a strong class, right? I, I mean, stuff can happen. But. Honestly, random air. I picked Toy Ranosaurus and Plush because they're new cards, but I think my deck could have been an easy 15 0 deck if I didn't pick them. I still want to try them though, so um, this is not me complaining, this is me just talking about the stuff, right? It does not look that good, no. I'm loving it, Eric's. I'm loving it, it's fun. <laughs> Exactly. I think these cards were designed for synergies. Giggle. Uh, agreed. Is King Plush the diamond card for the set, actually? What card makes Hunter strong? In general, I would say it's the Wild Seeds, Collateral Damage, and the fact that they still have all of their strong cards like Camo Mount, Raptor, Fangs, Tempo, etc, etc. down 17 to go gifts are OP I think because of their situational power they're they're relatively strong uh, I would say that 
The hunter Let's one's probably weaker. Flash over Hydra I'd have done. I never miss my shot. I never miss my shot. Let's keep these this into bait and switch coin for us. Twin could be an interesting line. Yeah, the hunting one's probably one of the worst ones. But I had a uh, druid one yesterday, and that was pretty good. I was about to save my ass by casting a flame strike. I think I should go with the macaw here. Oh my god. I still can't give this charge, actually, right? Yeah, spirit cards are fully reverted. Cards that return to wild, there's a whole list of reversions. You can find them in the patch notes, I think. If you're really interested. I think I'll do this. If they really want to kill it, let them. Yeah, but if you coin, you don't get the mana first, right? Randomer. Ooh, the shaman one is Hexbold Bloodlust. That's interesting. I'm doing it this way. The reason is that there's a weird psychological trick where if they're playing 2-2 rushes, they're more likely to want to kill the 2-2 than the 3-1. Six buffs, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one secret. Uh, who thinks? Who thinks it's explosive? Actually, in the patch note, they mentioned the rule change. You can coin above max mana. You can, you can. So you can coin 11. Yesterday, I coined 11 damage forbidden fruit with Druid. But it, coining up to 11 does not activate mana thirst, I think. Because mana thirst is Bay's thing. Right, so that's a little bit of a difference. But yeah, you can. So Mathers shouldn't activate though. But yes, you can coin up to 11 now. Is that the Dobre Man? The Dobre Man. You think they have a uh, freezing now off the top? I think they have freezing off the top, guys. Nah. It's just the camera lighting, I think. I, don't, I think I need the three threes. Hey, Nuke as well. Damn, I just lost a 6-6 six, six and a 3-3 three, three poison. The thing is, right, the reason I went for it, by the way, is... I'm in the situation where if I play these two, for example, they're just gonna double rush and leave me with this again. And I'll just never be able to trigger it. 
I do it to I wash my hands very often for many different reasons. The hell are these cards? Something like this. Marco Priest two almost got to do the purified shard against you in arena. Now that's the quest reward, right? Solid styles. Oh jeez. Heart, you just, I haven't faced heart yet, hey? My man, you can lose from anything from a death growl stitch and so all the way. Did you see Greg lost to a, a full board of like four four taunts and six six demons summoned from Shadow Gordon? <laughs> I think Hearth? I think it's more about the refill, right? There is a little bit of a delay secret user uh, for the drops, yes, it seems. How about refill? Are you sure they're that strong, though? Doesn't feel like it to me. What's the worst class right now? I have no idea. You have to DK 10 plus the oh, crazy deck. Yeah, it, there's a lot of craziness around, that's for sure. Yeah, I uh, my drops were delayed overnight, guys. Yeah, so there's some delays with the drops. Okay, just 4 mana plus 16 plus 16, casually. I go rap there and try and set up lethal 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pray they don't have lethal I mean oh yeah for sure I have the same combo with Napo but I didn't play it so that's where things change My deck is busted. I, I literally said immediately. My deck is busted. You think King Plush is OP random? Hmm. Eh? I need them to play little enough minions that this can kill them. They also have to have five or less attack, right? And it also vanishes your own board as well, random air. It's not just your opponent's board. It's also... Your own board as well. Any heal? No. I do have a bunch of like turns. Yeah, that's the combo I was playing for. If drawn poorly, I don't think I have. I think they just have as good as deck as me, and their top deck freezing chap was so good. 
it actually kind of there was a two mana remove about 10 mana for me right because it killed my four drop my camo mount uh, and also uh, made me pay six to play the three three again it's just that their minions are like plus four plus four plus five plus five I think now which means it's gonna be hard for me to come back if I can not die on this board and play raptors that's my win con Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so Raptors just doesn't cut it now, huh? I could go monkeys, but is that winning me the game? One, two, maybe. Uh, Raptor turned. But then does that set up a counter, Lethal? What if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then play a tremors? Or double, double barrel, frenzied, double tremors. Yeah, you go for the raptors, you think? What's my win con though then, right? What's my win con? Victory is in my grasp. Because I can either do this and then hope to have a, a, a raptor. Come back. I think if they have a rush, I might just be dead. I think I stick to this. You can't get life speed on the raptors. Very plan seems like it's just gonna put you in the same spot next turn, but this is a very strong board, right? Shouldn't let me raptor a lot more comfortably. I mean, it could also just be lethal. Oh yeah, no, no not full monkeys, right? Could have made a palindrome. These three in the middle. Could have. <laughs> So I know these are all like huge minions. I got dementia from the decisions of both parties. I can't say it because it will just lag my PC, hey? <laughs> did you did you have a few fun games at least, hey? Or uh, was it just uh, a tear a tear fiesta? Missed symmetric board. This is symmetric. If you close your eyes. <laughs> That's one up lethal. It's a really good top deck. They're trading them. I'll take it. Man, this top deck though. And now I'm just in, a, in the same crappy position. What a good top deck. Imagine I top deck plush, Tyrannosaurus, Bear, Bear, Obsidian Revenant, Obsidian Revenant, Camo Mount, Reef Walker, anything else? I think we Raptors now, not much choice, let's go for it. This is a worse spot I would say, I think I'm in a worse spot. can survive. I want Divine Shield mainly. <sighs> Taunt again now? What? It's one plus one. Okay. That's not too, 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 too bad because I have really good cards in my deck. 
And they had to top deck this to get through the monkey. So I feel relatively safe. The thing is, these have plus 5, plus 5, I think. And this has plus 4, plus 4, maybe. These are not buffs. Poison again was pretty good as well. I do like taking this up to 7. Though randomer. Was either this or just poisoning this, right? They're both good. I would have rather a taunt and divine shield at the end, but I couldn't afford missing it. Good thing you played around Cleave with the barrels, that's true actually. They already played one of those things, yeah. No, that is that is a uh, common. Oh, it's a legendary? Huh? I thought it was just a core common. Them. It's a free core legend. So how do they have two of them then? Oh, whelp. Whelp. Playing Warlock with the hero card? Let me tell you, I don't know why hero cards are allowed and they're not so imbalanced. I, I personally would say that I understand, but also I don't think they're outliers. even kill that. I don't think I can win. I mean, the fact that we're still in this is insane, but uh, I don't think I can win. Right? Like, there's just no way. Camo Mount to Lifesteal, actually. Right? So I don't die here. Camo Mount to Lifesteal. We've, we've actually gone through. Yeah, Camo Mount into Lifesteal, so it's a 1 in 7 into a 1 in 7. Hey, Zick. So we have to draw, there's no other way, and we have to hit life seal. Even if I, there was not even a single turn where pl Plush wouldn't have even removed my opponent's two drops this game. I get to play a 9 mass 6 6 charge, leave my opponent's 2 drops on board, remove all of my own taunts, and shuffle them into my own deck. I could have actually had that play in this game. Huh? I don't think there was a single turn this card was good. <laughs> huh? Alright, maybe the turn they just play 2 monkeys, I guess. <laughs> I must protect the wild. 
I never miss my shot. I I thought this card was bad before I picked it, Elmo. <laughs> Don't pretend like I'm uh, biased because of the games I played. I hadn't even clicked the freaking card when I called it. <laughs> uh, it's okay. We are gonna go 12 with plush. If it's the last mother flipping thing I do. <laughs> Maybe we can start buzzing. You're probably supposed to keep it early and buff him up. Yeah, but then that sucks because you have a dead card for nine turns. Right, no? Yes? I'm actually tempted to go Monka here. Which means I think I do this. Okay, 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 okay. This and Monka. Because now they can't hero power and take this two and push two. They have to trade on hero power and then push one if they want. And I can trade here back. And I can monkey bait maybe. Or just double buzz. Hope that they don't kill them. And then yodels, right? Okay. And my deck is so busted, but I'm struggling. Is it just me? Are they full trading? No. Triple, right? I triple buzzard, right? Random air. I think I've also lost, though. Let none survive. That's a huge hit. Okay. I think we're all right now. If you traded the big minion, you'd have missed one buff on the Yodeler. Oh, that's smart, actually. That's true. Because their hero power is going to deal three to me, right? Yeah, good call. Let's rush have traded first. This card would have had one more buff, right? Which actually makes a difference. No idea what Zuljan is, Kelly. I mean, people have told me, but I don't know how good it is. Okay. So they can bonk, bonk, and hero power this, and I can play bear, and hopefully we'll be all right. Cactus. Bear. I think his bear is like my last. Okay, not a rock. Water source is alright. A hero power. Okay, so we get this trade, we play bear. Oh, is recycling? I think so. Surely now we're fine. Okay. Oh, oh my god, holy crap. You can discover everything, right, Mafundi? Devolve and Evolve are in, for example. Holy god. I have not faced Hearthstone Brew yet. I actually haven't faced hero cards or quests yet, I think. Or have I? I don't even know if I have. I faced a bunch of that Galactic Projection Orb. That card looks insane. Bonus for 
Francis? Arilon, that card looks insane. The forest fights back. I never miss my shot. I want more buffs. Such a good card, though. Tech Tracker is so useful, it knows every card in its position in hand. Yeah, because they're they're pretty determined, right, Mafundi? As far as I know. Didn't I just play this game? I'm gonna do this, because if I hit tremors. Oh boy! Lame. Grab the booty priest that only went 1 3 and decided to leave us for the night. How's this deck looking? This deck is looking unbelievably OP, Zonny. <laughs> like, uh. Oh, yeah. Let me just proceed to draw every single spell in my deck. Not a problem. She just drawn all my spells, I think I have. I didn't actually, randomer. I threw away camo mount, I just drew it again immediately on turn one. Fish came from, guys. Let none survive. I think I still do this. It's going to bait them into trading. Yeah, I only kept the frenzied fangs, right? Random. Air. I just immediately redrew the spell. This was after the coin, and I tutored this. Hmm. I think I. I think I might pass. Because I thought about keeping it. <laughs> Fair. Trying to give you that one random air. What's this game like at the moment? Serena, good or does it suck? Well, I, I thought that it has always been good, so I think it's good. Um... But it's going to be mind-blowing to you if you haven't played Arena in forever. Um, I think it's in a sweet spot because it's a nice fresh meta we've got here with some nice curated cards. But it, uh, it has some things that I would say aims going for it, I guess. I like it. Ooh, Tall Tales. Yeah, synergy is what elevates a deck. Maybe. It's very common for like though, say you have Galactic Orb as a mage. What about synergy there? Then you know what I mean? I'm trading just because I can. Trash discovered. This cover pool is huge, Zygo. So it's uh, inconsistent, I think, is the better word. Stay alert, my children. All right, here we go. Trade last? For sure, for sure, for sure. That's what I do. We should be alright in this game anyway, I feel. That makes them all a value trade, right? Just let them. I was trying to see if I could get Taunt, Divine Shield. 
Lifesteal, Wind Fury. So basically more than half of them are super strong stealth. One of the ones that didn't change anything. Um, I, I still think it was worth the risk. Because the Vine Shield would have left this high health. Um, Life Sea would have healed me back to full. Wind Fury, Bonky Bonks. So from all the Rumble cards, by the way, I think that the only bad one is the 5 mana 3 6 better head style one. Hey Tom! A Reborn is good too, left, yeah. Did you get lucky to get a new Death Knight Headless Horseman? I, I did not get that card yet, no siree. I did not get that card yet. I haven't played Death Knight after yesterday, Zik. I only played Druid and Death Knight yesterday. I played Demon Hunter and now Hunter. I probably will be a while before I play DK again, but I hope we we'll get to play it at some point. Ato is insane, though, Zik. It's like, congrats. I have not seen BGBM yet, no, Mufundi. How's the new patch so far? Um, pretty sweet. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, DK is a good class at the moment, I think, as well. Assume they have a dragon. He has disabled for you currently. Try restart the clients, Keizu. Might be just a little issue with your thing. Like... Hmm. I had DK Hitless Horse, so I never drew a shuffle. What happens if you draw it? Your hero power also discovers an undead. found the head once during my uh, horseman round. You just need more head than negative one, huh? Is the new meta more or less reactive? I feel like reactivity is more important. Um, heal seems to be more common, I would say. I have three buzzards. I wasn't gonna play. If I play plush, I lose the game, Zonny. Yeah, this deck is busted. Like, since his deck is busted, in my opinion. This might be totally downhill after this deck, guys. Although I am versus King Crutch. So, this is gonna be tough. Um, King Plush Zoni also vanishes my own board. I think people are missing that. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware. It, it vanishes your own board as well. Oh yeah, you mean play it for itself kind of thing. Uh, all right, give me, give me tremors. Come on, it's a fifty-fifty. Don't do it again. Thank you. King Plush belongs to King Crush's baby daughter. Is it greedy to go buzzard coin trem? I think it's all right. Got anything good? Oh, sharp eyed seeker with the horseman. That's a cool combo. Gary, negative one. King Kush. Your power. Limitless. Ah. It's pretty good. Is it even worth playing this triple five two here? It does force a ping, and I still contest this. This with reckless? How does that even work? 
Oh my god, yeah, that's insane. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know. I feel like I slightly misread the meta. I think reactivity is more important than I anticipated, I will say, though. Because yesterday I thought I had a good druid, went really bad because the discover pool was really rough, right? And my uh, Death Knight ended up actually being interestingly good. I don't think my Death Knight was... Like, I from one, from the decks I had seen so far, I felt like it was a low roll Death Knight. But it still felt like a very playable deck. It just exceeded my expectations for sure. The question is face. Yeah, let's go face. Often the one come we had win games. Oh, I went 11. I think it's single-handedly, as in like I would have lost if I didn't do it. Won me three or four games. Um, I would say. I think I still test for the ward. I could do this and pass, but it could also be objection now, huh? What am I going tonight? I actually don't know. Probably make some pasta. I mean, very likely, but I think I still do it. The issue is other cards. Hydrate, sure, 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 give me a sec. Um, but then Unholy Frenzy was premium in my deck, Mufundi. Honestly, without like really, really, really well thought out Unholy Frenzy things, my deck was just fizzing out and stalling and doing nothing else kind of thing. Start with this. Explosive now. Uh, there is a little bit of a delay, it seems, Adeleo, yeah. There is a little bit of a delay, it seems. Trade the Ellie first. Four? For what? Wait, sorry. So yeah, the drops seem to be a little bit delayed, Tim, to you too. Oh, you think dupe is in? A whirlwind of flavor. That's an olden. But it could be. I'm going double monkey. I was gonna fangs, but with the cool dude. But random Solarium Prime from Shredder. My opponent today got Sol Solarium Prime from that new Keyring Scarab, what's it called? Yeah. They seem to have some server lag because so many people are claiming the rewards, by the way. So uh, some of your drops may be delayed. There's still about an hour and a half to claim your rewards, uh, but they may be a little delayed.
I'm gonna trap the headless horseman here and the hairs on the back of my neck got a tingling sensation. That's a good thing to get from a card game. Yeah, me personally, like Alexander, I got no drops yesterday immediately. In the evening, I got my normal packs, and then today I got my golden pack, tavern tickets, and my BG stuff. Clean up, play Raptor. King Flash is, does have adorable art. Yes, you have to make sure you're logging onto the correct server, guys. You have to make sure you're logging onto the correct server. You will get the drops specifically on the one server or whatever. Headless Horseman is the Death Knight hero card, Nepo. How does deck lose once to a deck like mine that drew better? Were there guaranteed legendaries from the pack? There were not. You just got really lucky, Sladas. Two legendaries and a signature legendary in three packs is insane. That is insane. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Hold on, can only be discovered. Are you sure, sure? Sure, 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 sure. King Crash, you should not face a hunter, my friend. How do you, how are you aware, though, in bloody? We don't know what's in the meta. There you go, cryogenocide. It is draftable, it is, yeah, it's not a, I said, I said it's draftable. You're sure, sure? I, I believe you. Volcanomancy is unaffected by spell damage. Yes. Un... Yes. Volcanomancy is the minion doing the damage. Um, so it's affected by minion stuff. So honorable kill, poison, lifesteal, etc. Makes no sense, you looked it up. But it's a hero card. It has a hero power. Two mad deal three. You shuffle the headless horseman to the deck. When it's drawn, your hero power becomes two mad deal three. Discovered undead. Uh, I'm not sure what. It's a hero card. It doesn't do anything else. You don't play it on the board. Yeah? You're welcome. <laughs> Why does Spirit Poacher looks like she's on the phone? She is on the phone, Cherise. In fact, uh, give me a second, let me go give her a call because I'm not drawing her on two enough. Um, so let me go give her a call, guys, alright? Give me a sec.
Holy crap, that spirit poacher didn't want to listen. Holy crap, they didn't want to listen. <laughs> you have reached the voicemail of spirit poacher. Don't leave me a message because I hate talking. You should have texted. This is Dose. You know I didn't answer. Thanks. Have a great day. Beep. What's the reason Hunter is so phenomenal right now? It still has all of the powerful stuff, I would say. Buzzard, Tremors, Frostwing Camo Mount, uh, Raptor, but it got back um, the Wild Seeds, and they're all unbuffed. Or whatever, they're all uh, they're all unnerfed. Let's go to the Headless Horseman first draft. Enjoy. I think I killed this up. I think I stick to this for now. I think I could play these, but let's try and bait out an AoE. Collateral is in this as well. Why hero cards in the arena all of a sudden? Hero cards and uh, quests are part of the... Whatchamacallit. They're part of the uh, curated pool. Rush, Lifesteal, Reborn. They didn't get Lifesteal so they don't have blood in their deck. I have no idea, it's Napo. Not only do I not know what's in the pool and what isn't, I, I don't even know how decks are performing, to be honest with you. Is this those or Morty? Is that Rick? Or not trick. You play this dude all the time? Who? Otza boy? Don't recognize the name. Are you happy schooling is back? It's not as strong as it used to be. I faced it yesterday, it didn't really affect me. <laughs> I would go revenant. The blizzard say why hero cards are in. Well not no. They just chose them to be in. I think it's fine for them to be in, to be honest with you, Alexander. Probably the, the new Death Knight one came out, so they wanted to kind of uh, give it a go, you know? Yeah, it used to be such an outlier, but that was like a year and a half ago. Yeah, I think they're also open to suggestions at this point, which... I think it's a good thing to do when you're trying a new curated thing. Um, I think the hero cards are still very powerful. I just don't think they're outliers anymore. If that makes sense, personally, anyway. Obviously, some 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 decks would have super insane synergy. Or you go to the late game and then Frostled Jaina would destroy you, for example. Um, but that doesn't mean that's how Frostled Jaina always performs. My sorcery will prevail. I never miss my shot. What is an outlier? Something that is uh, far above the pack. In this case, above. Right, so when Frostled Jaina came out, you have first legit I'm gonna invent numbers because I don't know numbers. You have first legit at a 300% win rate, and then the next best card was at 50% win rate. Now first legit is like 80%, and you have like five other cards that are 80%. You know what I mean? You think the hero cards are outliers? Sincerely, no funny. I think. There's a whole tier of cards at the top now. Just wondering what it is. I don't even know what's an outlier. Arilon? I think it's an outlier now, maybe. Elusive is the new word for can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. <laughs> you never enjoy it. Okay, you don't want to kill my buzzards, right? 
your card no better than Legendary Excavate. Yeah, I mean, they're still very strong cards, right? I, I think they're still very, very strong cards. I just don't think they're outliers anymore. Sucks to tempo this, but my hand is interesting. Beat two for us and Shane already easy. Yeah, the thing is, they're cards which, when you're in a in a very equal battle, they can give you the edge. But just get the turn nine. Sure, not a problem. Let me just draw dead until then, Elmo. And we'll try our best. <laughs> Hero cards require one card. Legendary Excavates requires four to set up. Yeah, but whatever. Reska, Aralon, Drilly, Seraphine. Well, maybe it's Seraphine, not now. Those are all just individual cards, I think, stronger than most hero cards. Uh, on average, again, there will be decks where the synergy is phenomenal with the hero card, and that is just insane. I I agree with Randomer. Like, I think Galactic Projection Orb is way stronger than Frostless Jaina. Because if you're losing to a Frostless Jaina on the long game, you're probably losing that game anyway. I, I kind of feel that. That's a good draw. There you go, Astro. I mean, there will be games where it will be the reason and the only reason that the win is, but that doesn't feel like the average to me. The average outcome or whatever you want to call it. Most times it might be a card that's just dead. For most, card, most times it doesn't... Um, it doesn't act as enough of a swing. But maybe you had like a, a huge value deck and your opponent had a huge value deck and uh, you lost to Frostlich, for example, I don't know. But have you faced Galactic Projection Orb casting about 40 mana worth of spells, OTKing you when you're at full health with a full board and they're at one health and you can just hero power them dead or something? Because that to me feels way stronger. Frostage Jaina destroys any burn game plan. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. They, they're good. I'm not trying to say that they're bad cards. They're very, very good cards still. I just don't think they're outliers anymore. There's a difference between me saying I don't think they're outliers anymore and me saying they're bad. I think they're good cards. They're still very good cards, I think. But look at these cards. Look at these common cards, right? Rare cards. My opponent just gained seven armor and... Essentially, just destroyed my minion, summoned the 4 8 taunt. <laughs> it's, uh. That's something. You ever go time lost and then King plush them all away? Nah, this is just too strong, right? You mean Frost Strike, Snappo? Yes. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I also might just be wrong about everything. I'm still uh, not like fully aware of the full metas and everything. I know he's got another freeze. Back in my day, cards give plus two plus two buff to one minion. We were glad for it. 
Like, is this worth King Plush? I I guess. Whoa! Okay, can I say 11 on 10 entry animation? And sound. Yeah, all discoveries are full wild pulls now, so discoveries are a little rough. Your streamer playing Twist yesterday, Lich King felt so good to play back in the day. Yeah, because Twist is the... Twist is the advanced format, right now, advancing format. You just witnessed history. That wasn't bad, right? A King Crash that removes a 6-6 six -six is kind of alright. Discover Boom Pool being wild on purpose? Yes and no, Sebium. Because they have included all expansions in, but curated cards from them for the draft, the way it works is when they ban cards from draft, the discover pool doesn't exclude them. I think the discover pool just... Um... Just has tags for, is this expansion in or not? So it will end up being all of wild. So, for example, my 9 mana 8 8 charge, they have a 1 mana 1 1 freeze gain 8 armor. Sounds like too much RNG. That's part of the things I wish they would improve for the curated pool, but I think it's an. I think it's an. I don't want to call it an unfortunate evil. I think it's a, a necessary evil based on the code base that they have. But I wish they would improve it. No, it's in their deck, Millie Knight, right? Yeah, feel free. It's gonna be a little hard for me to fully always keep uh, up with things, but I, I, I can maybe try. I prefer this to stay. Can I get better? Where is my attack? And freaking other stuff. What the hell is this, dude? Yeah, why are you telling me as the three AoE elemental, guys? It's in his deck, right? I am glad those treasures are gone. Those were so boring now, Alexander. The three AoE elemental, guys, is in there. I mean, they could have top decked it, sure, but... King Plush puts them back into the deck, yeah? Doesn't, it's not vanished to hand, it's vanished to deck. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. No, no, in case people misunderstood because I, I repeated. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, you played Warrior? Uh, was it a Taunt Warrior, Alexander? I cure you. That was something all right, that was. I should have done this first because of Camel. I don't think I even want to play. I need the board space. Not really, but kinda. Sure, feel free. That scabs was pre this meta when you know, by the way, so it was a random generation. First draft. Quad mining casualties, it's pretty sweet. Yimmer Yar, Oblit, Sweet Mid Game, Soul Page, Horseman, Double Bone Guard Commander. I feel like your, your 5 plus is very strong in the deck, I would say. Snapper. Should just make Arena set to rotate the same as Scar? That way, Scar would restrict the create list out too much work. That's what T Bear suggested earlier today, Major. I think it's a cool suggestion. That's just the same earlier. I remember T Bear, I remembered, okay? Can you upload decks in Firestone? No. I don't think you can. Wait, what's that? 
But what was that kite, guys? What was that kite? Frost Lich Cross Strike. What is this? Cross Stitch. Deal. Stop! Stop! Deal 4 damage to a character if it dies from a 3 6 water elemental that freezes. Oh, that's fine. Four, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This should always be lethal, right? I know this for sure. Hey, Major. Yeah, Tima suggested that earlier. I think it's a good idea if... The thing is, right, they should be technologically capable of doing it. So basically what I think is, if the curation comes out as a positive... As a positive... If the community reacts positively to curation, but we give them constructive feedback, like the discover pools, then the next step might be to maybe make some arena core set um, or or an arena tag for each expansion whichever works best for them didn't I face this guy today someone uh, some Russian person told me what their name means I feel maybe I'm mistaking it though and that could be cool because it could uh, limit the discover or whatever. We'll see. I love the curation. I love the fact that they're trying curation. Um, I think this cover pool could be amended, but if we give them positive feedback, I think it could be good. I think it could be good. Keep the curation, keep the one legendary improve the discover pool, balance a little bit better. Hero of the heroes, yeah. Someone told me that I faced this person actually then. You think they would kill my... Uh... I feel like they wouldn't kill this, right? There's a world where I don't pre-hit on purpose, but... You don't want to kill my buzzard, right? Like, why would you? Yeah, good order, good order. Okay, check this out. So dirty. Yeah. I think T-Bird's just a technological limitation, but it's a cool idea, good suggestion. Buffster. I mean... It's... <laughs> I just... This deck is busted. Mm -hmm. The Night Elf Huntress Sebiomet card is super good. I faced a lot yesterday, not yet today, luckily. Just Hunter things. Yeah, I mean, this deck is busted though, also. Actually, more stats for me to hero power than it is to play my six drop. Broken 2 drop spell a plan D. I think they leave a buzzard up again after that? <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, I already faced this person today, so... It's like a weird coincidence, you yeah. know? I 
actually don't think that's very good, that plan D. I think if they were hard putting Hearthstone away, I would recommend they should be able to use most of the code they have for the Corpo and Twist Boost. They can reuse as much as they want. But that's if they created the game when those modes were in mind, not if the game was created 10 years ago when none of these modes even existed. And they've just built appendages onto that over and over and over again to the point where they've had to recode random parts and add it on and then find out that they had some old code that's been buried four handovers ago, buried deep down somewhere. And they just recoded another card in the same way as that other person had recoded it, but it works slightly differently. And it works slightly differently because the community found out through a bug. And when they fixed that bug, they realized that they could actually use the old code because someone found it. I agree with you, T, but I'm just saying it's not always the reality, you know? I, it's a great idea. I, I think it's such a good idea. Would you suggest it that I, uh, when I will give feedback about what the current meta and mode is, um, if, if, their way forward is to try to solve the discover pool, I will suggest what you said. I will crush your defiance as I crushed your soul. That makes sense. This is a good three. I think I just want to find, like, better cards. I agree with you, T-Bear. It just... There's so much, um, what do you want to call it, maintenance? Is that the correct word? There's so much ongoing aspects that at a certain point, it just becomes too difficult to go back and rewrite it all. Um, and that's why sometimes people, they don't do that because you might break something, you can't afford to do that. So what, what uh, long-term game companies usually do is they create a two, right? A second version of the client from scratch. And, uh... That's probably the best solution at that point. It was MVP for you. Interesting, apparently. I'm gonna do this. This was the plan. Hey, those how goes the new arena runs? I'm having fun, I okay? This is my second infinite of the day, but I will say that this is a Busto deck. Best deck I've drafted this meta for sure. I thought yesterday's Druid was a really good deck, but it turns out it wasn't so much. I thought yesterday's Death Knight deck was mid, but it turns out it was better than I thought. I thought today's Demon Hunter was mid, and I think I was kind of correct. And I think this Hunter's busted. So, I haven't really drafted like horrible, horrible decks so far. I just think Hunter might be busted. True, but also I did drop double Camomount, triple Buzzard, and Tremors, which I think is a high roll. Yeah, Gary. It's okay, I'll be the one number one in the end. Good example is coining it, getting a 4 4 on 2, and then having Hunter and Leah. That's interesting. Trade. Why wouldn't you trade? Actually working something like that at my old job. Problem was I was the only one working on the new branch and five people were adding features to the old branch, so we would never reach parity. Feels like a common issue. Don't forget you also got King Flash <laughs> based. DH climbing on HS3 play 1 to 6 copies of Wolf on average. Hey, I didn't have a single Wolf. Or studies. They already rebuilt Hearthstone some years back when they ditched their own game engine and started to use Unity instead. Really? That's why you enforce feature branches targeting dev and protect dev. Yeah, I, I, please know, I've never worked in software dev, so I ain't no expert. I'm just saying, I think it's less easy than what some people might put on, if that makes sense. Wait a second. That includes my minions? Huh. Interesting. I didn't know that. 
Or the more you know. Uh, some of you seem like you know what you're saying. Um, uh, that makes sense. I, 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 again, I'm agreeing with you guys. I'm just saying I don't have. I don't think that's what they they have done in the past. I think a lot of what I have said about Blizzard in the past is me trying to say, listen to whoever is saying, oh, they just need to press a button. They're all dumb because they don't press a button. I'm like, first of all, don't call them dumb. That's gaining nothing at all. Secondly, I'm pretty sure it's not just pressing a button. But on the other hand, I feel like a lot of things do somewhat boil down to what I would consider to be managemental issues. I'm not saying the management necessarily sucks, but things that they they had less foresight in the past or now they work with the if they didn't have that foresight in the past then now it's too late you know and if everyone always has the mentality then you'll always be stuck in it right that's what it feels like based yeah Every so often we merge branches once things are ready for release. Imagine all speech here is the one that address tech debt, not allowed for proper testing, yeah. And it, it comes down to project management, financing and financing and resourcing as well, right? It's an interesting chain of events. I don't think Blizzard is an Indian company, Bouncy. Yeah, this deck is busted, Sebio. My, uh, I don't even know what to say. On the workaround. I know you can copy paste it. Ooh, interesting. Oh, Anima, of course, Anima. I lost Pickle King to a deck that was basically like mine, but they drew their buzzards and yodeler combo, and I did not. So, double bellowing, powder man, little taunt synergies. Looks interesting, trial. Super Collider is back. A testing dummy. Oh, I want to try some warrior. Looks fun. Saying, not saying it's necessarily easy, but nor do I think it's that hard if they are following good practices. And if they aren't following good practice, they should start. Because it's an investment that will pay dividends. I think the last thing you said is the most important thing, Tiber. And I don't know how they work internally, but that's the feeling I get. This round will give you a Badlands or the new expansion. Yeah, you'll get Badlands from all of them. I think I actually keep going. Yeah, I lost to a deck that is exactly like mine that drew better. Right, they actually went buzzard into buzzard into... Uh, into Yodeler the buzzard and I just drew my late game. So this lets me go coin yodels or buzzard tracker into yodels. There will be a leaderboard for the meta, yes, Siri. What happened to Ice and Arena card pool? It's all changed, Bouncy, so it's a new meta. As of yesterday. Now this meta is new core set, Whizbang's workshop, event set. Uh, plus a curated list of cards from every expansion. Maybe I should have carrying studies just for the extra buff. Uh, all all classes are strong, but some are stronger. -er -er. Yeah, I faced a warrior yesterday with three of that Alexander, and they had a bunch of buffs. Hey. So this guy just ruined my yodels. Is that why I couldn't find your experience expansion in rotation? There, yeah, you can't find it. There is no card list. Man, they're not letting me yodel, guys. Yodel it, he who, man. Let me yodel. Let me yodel, guys. 
<laughs> Every turn I'm setting up a Yodel. We got this. Let him cack? No, cook, not cack. Let me Yodel. Let him Yodel. Thank you. <laughs> Maris Juzu. I need a coffee, guys. I'll try go late today again, okay? We'll try keep on keeping on today. Yodel. <laughs> Bill strikes again. And the only dumb fee around here is you, Theo. <laughs> uh, uh, you're a good guy, Theo. I pick on you because I know you can take a joke and you're, you're, you're good with it, you know? First player, 30 runs though. No, there's already multiple players on every leaderboard fan. Just woke up today and chose violence. I mean, I'd expect to wake up every day. No way. Yeah, fan. Well, you know, they probably retired 25, 28 runs or something. I do consider myself lucky demon I sometimes I find it really difficult, you know. Like I remember like three metas ago, Bohemius retired like 30 runs on day one. And uh and ended up on the leader, right? Anybody? Two nesting golem, two cool gold, and a ton of corpse spenders. What the? What corpse spenders are there right now? Can I? Please? Yodel a hihu, mate! I, mean, I could yodel a hihu this, I guess. Let me find something. What the hell are these? Interesting. Okay, give me a sec. Let, let me cook. Let me cook, guys. Just, just let me cook, okay? Doesn't retire add to your run count? It does, Fate. But as in, it counts as a whatever, it counts as the score of whatever uh, you retire that. So if you retire at 0-0, zero, zero, then it counts as zero win run, which is why the averages are about 0 0.5 or 0 0.1. Card from Yermiar Soul Cafe. What What's Soul Cafe? So happy. I have not had a 12 right? This is my fourth run. I have not had a 12 right now. Oh, Soul Cage. That's very hilarious. Okay, yeah, those are those are interesting. Someone's already at 1.5 average. How many wins would you need for that? Though, Nello. 45 wins? Yeah, that's fine. I've got 45 wins already, right? Don't I? I've got a 7, an 11, a 4, and a 9. No, but getting there. And remember, I... I, I'm pretty sure I, I I slept in the middle and I took on the night off and I didn't do anything this morning. So 45 wins is doable for sure. How would you rate your deck? Average or below average? I don't know. I mean, laying down, it's at least six feet high if that's what you're talking about. No, this deck is busted. Exclamation mark LB, Marwin. Thank you, Boss Ben. I did play King Plush once, yeah. Now, this, this deck is really good. It's gonna be hard to draft a better deck than this, I think.
Again, I only lost to a deck that is like mine that drew better. Let the pain speak to me. I can't do that. Don't rain, Muggle. Smuggle. I'd plagiarizer copy my opponent's Frostledge Jaina. Nice try, Druid. Fun seeds. They always want to take this trade, right? So you just do these two, and then you Yodelichichu, and it's GG. Yo, who remembers the song they made with the monkey? Like back when this card came out. If you're watching this run on YouTube, let me know in the comments if you remember that video. <laughs> they did revert the nerfs on the wild seeds, yes, boss Ben. This is a warrior card, yeah, fan, it is. But you can still get a random beast. Right, as in random beast includes all pools, right? Second. Uh oh. You ever go triple raptor here and try to stop the lethal? Yeah, this is, I don't think this is a normal hunter. I think this is a strong, strong hunter. Just, I mean. This is very good. These origami cards are so good. I managed to draft one crane so far and that's it. So they seem really rare. At least in my decks. <laughs> uh, you can always pinpoint the things that are going to be rare in your decks because the card pool is so large, right? Play it at 12 wins? No, no, I won't be able to put this up on YouTube. Yeah, this is an amazing card, but uh, it's just too slow for what I did versus them. Right? It's just so slow. Dragon Feet's like the weakest one. It's the slowest one, but the biggest swing one, right? Welcome, Marcus Pryor. There should be around 40 minutes left for drops. So last few chances to claim your drops. And a reminder to everyone that they do seem to have some delays on the drops. Um, make sure that you log into the correct region because whatever region you log into first after claiming your drops is where you will get the rewards. So if you go, you're on the wrong region, make sure you're swapping because you can't get them swapped over. And sometimes they are a little bit delayed because they have had some server lag. But you should get them all. Pink Plush carried every game. Only that's criticism of the card, just that you are far ahead, opponent needs is a miracle card. 
Well, yes, but which is why exactly Hydralodon was better, in my opinion, because Hydralodon would be the comeback that I would have needed before King Plush, or seals the deal before King Plush, right? Best class is probably Hunter, especially if you can draft one like this. Oh, congratulations to whoever bet 10 to 12 on this deck. Enjoy your beans. Like, imagine this was Hydralodon right now. And the worst? The worst is any class I haven't played yet, I would say. Um, because I haven't, uh, those hasn't raised the, raised the average for the class yet. The only reason Hunter is violent is because of Buzzer, do you agree? Also, do you think they should limit the buffs? Uh, no, I disagree. Smetana. I've had many... The Hunter is just versatile. Buzzer is not the only reason, Buzzer is a reason. I had someone hit me with some really rough 9 lives turns now because I'm seeing um, Secret User mention it. Tremors is insane. Camo Mount is insane. Frenzied Fangs is now super good. The, the Wild Seas are insane. In fact, you can remove Buzzer and I don't think Hunter will go down. Ah, I am being out-tempoed. Collateral, for example, is another card. Ah. Rip? Yeah, Rip is probably right here. You know what would have helped me get back, though, actually? I'd rather done. <laughs> I got drops to say connect game account. I click before my accounts co are connected. That's interesting, Blazer. I don't know what to tell you. Thing is, if I yodel, I think I'm dead. I guess I should have coined too. Believe in the yodel. I'm dead if I play yodel, I not. Can't even take the skill. Go for the top deck, but I have to coin, which means I can't do this. Yeah, you could try it. Uh, that happened to me once and I had to reconnect. Blazer. But then you won't be able to get it or whatever. Yeah, and you might lose them. Well, I would say leave it till at least five, which is when they finish. Blazer. And then if you don't get them, try reconnect it. He actually had gift, yeah, but I was dead before he could even get bloodlust. Alright, and uh, we found a deck that uh, is even more aggro than mine. But you, it might be delayed, Blazer. When did you claim the rewards? When did you claim the rewards? Run an opener? Yeah, they went one, two, into three with a freeze. I thought not coining a 2 would have been fine, but my comeback cards, my taunts and my rushes, they happen late. Yeah, but you know what's a funny thing though, Random? Are you saying that the weakness of my deck is hyper aggro? But the power of my deck is also hyper aggro. Yesterday. Mm, interesting. Is this a keep? 
It's a great card. I think I just have better cards to find. Yesterday evening. Abdullah, thank you so much for the follow. You should have it by now, I feel. For me, the rewards animation keeps repeating whatever menu I go into on mobile. In the game or on Twitch? Because on Twitch, the pop-up still keeps coming for me. Oh, in the game. Maybe you keep getting them. Awesome. We could do like one one and spell and hope we don't draw Rexar's gift. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Quickly, quit and go back in and again and again and again. <laughs> Hello, Exito. So, for example, this is a better start and a better draw than my deck right now. And I think I lose. I think I have to go frenzied fangs. It's in charge of my whole wild collection. Guess how much dust I have? Victory is in my 40k? Six, seven. Yeah, we have to do this, unfortunately. 104k. Nice. I mean, if you never care for playing wild, then hopefully that uh, works nicely for you. So the reason I play the Frenzied Fangs is to contest these 5-2s, because I am falling hella behind here. That's great though, crits. Hopefully I'll be able to craft some sweet stuff. Yeah, I think uh, I might actually be stopped at 10 wins with this deck. I think this deck is bust, though. But uh, so were the decks we lost to. Not even joking, that's only Epic and Legendary. Just gives a couple of thousand of those Oh, I believe you, Crit. I mean, I would probably get hundreds and hundreds of thousands if I do that, but... Most people suggest you usually keep the collection, because 104k dust is not really needed. So you can make a, a standard deck for like 10k. Now, if you ever won the wild collection, it's gonna cost you a lot more dust to bring it back. But, to each their own, you know, if, if that's what people want to do, because you want to play, you were never gonna play wild, you want to play standard, that's just perfect for you. Now you're, you're kind of done for the year. You can probably draft a top tier deck or two or three. Or you decide to play duels. <laughs> duels is gone, mate. <laughs> ah, smell golden in their waters. This kind of sucks, but I kind of need to do it, I think. I'd rather stay at work than play duels. Wow. Mate. Wow. <laughs> Alrighty. What kind of coffee do you drink on a daily basis? I've got a dark roast for the mornings. I usually make some instant in the middle of my stream for time reasons. Earl Grey coffee. Uh, when I, before I moved country, I uh, we had a proper coffee machine at home. That was my favorite, but... They do go ahead and use the Dragon Bane. Smart move. So I think I do want to kill this, because if my bear stays alive, I can Yodelihihu. 
I've actually never had Kopi Luwak, but I actually knew someone who did fan, and they said it's it's fine, not worth the price. Inside voices, is it expensive as Pestrum seems worth it, or is it just for TikTok? Well, that depends on... You know, worth is always a subjective thing. Do you own $10 million and uh, love coffee? Of course it's worth it. I think we need to sap lethal. They do make better coffee, in my opinion. Oh, Yodley does work on Camo Mount. I drank Kopi Lux last weekend. Not worth the price, but still a good coffee. That's that's what I heard, basically. That's what I heard, basically. The deadly shot draw. Mate. Yeah, yes, it's uh, it's cleaned coffee beans from digested no uh, that are digested by civet. But the the extra casing shell flavor comes from that. You're actually eating poop. Imagine they have flesh. Well, just play a couple of monkeys and hero power them dead. Fancy way of saying it's due to? Well, it's cleaned from it. But I think it's very different. Isn't all meat technically that way? <laughs> it's not actually poop, damn, I'm returning it. Uh, that's maybe econ. I, I've never had it. I, I don't know exactly how they're made or anything like that. No, I actually lost to a shaman who killed me on like turn four, Pickle King. I, I hadn't even attacked yet. Okay. I'm uh, run to the bathroom and then we're, we're, we're going to queue up the final boss here. Okay, let's try and get the 12. Let's go for it. Shaman, bad? Uh, I mean, every class can have a premium deck. I think shaman is not an outlier number one class anymore. I don't think it's a horrible class, but... Alright, let's go for it! Sylvanas versus Valera! Stay in the shadows! I never miss my shot! It's not looking good. Guess I have to play this and the uh, river crook. Ugh. 
I actually don't know whether it shuffles or not actually now that you mention it. Aye, uh, this is this is it. I just hope they don't have an answer. It, it it's this. Just just don't. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't do it. That's fine. friend thank you muchas gracias star man uh, if you're watching this on youtube then i must say make sure you like the video uh, all right you know what like the video and subscribe but we might still lose <laughs> They're still Badlands, which aren't old packs, they're current packs, right? Don't cack me, guys, come on now. Hold up. If we had given stealth, would you attack? Yes. I have other things for the, the four mana, right? I would have just gone Rexar, Deadly Shot or something. Threat him when you get the 12. i can probably forget, Cubone. I'll probably forget. <laughs> I'll try and remember. And if you're watching this, Starman, Cubone just told me to threaten you and I'd win. I was close to dying, Shamapon played Wish Upon a Star, hit my last expert skeleton crew into Yodel on Reska. Oh my god, what? My bun just cleaned up here, holy crap. You didn't don't trust him. You know, uh, the chat does show up on YouTube now. A rogue at 11 is intriguing, though. I know, I still feel like this is gonna be a YouTube run, so if you've made it this far on the YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this Hunter. We tried King Plush, we tried Toy Ranosaurus. they seem alright, but Hunter just has so many things going for it, I can see why it's currently one of the better classes. Um... Irrespective of whether this goes 11 or 12. Sink, swim, it's all the same. I might actually lose this one. Our wild seeds are, wild seeds are OP. As I go, wild seeds are OP. Wild seeds are OP. I think I actually play this. Let them brew that back and then we'll hit them with the bear. Yeah. Sunken ear. It's all the same. You got the combo, my friend! My friend! The 11 win! You do this! My friend! Why? Why? You got too much into it with your uh, pull back, brew back, win this, win that. You got too much into it. I think it was just automatically comboed every other turn for them because of their breakdowns and shadow steps. But, uh... Oh lord, that's still really bad for me. I mean, I could explosive shut and play Reef Walker. Stop. 
I could buzz it, but I think this is just better. Push two. Get the kill. Yeah, yeah, that's the other play I was thinking about, Mafundi. Just go for the Raptors. Let's see. That's the other play I was thinking of. Oh, Miracle is seven mana now. Damn, boy. I and pray. We want ton divine shield poison, I guess. Dr. Balance, thank you so much for the six month prime. I have no time for games. We've got the new meta in arena. That's hopefully something sweet. Need divine shield. Yeah, Bear is just kicking the problem down the road. I'm the Don't you ever forget. GG, 11 wins. I just don't get through now, right? They even made that horrendous misplay, essentially. I mean, technically still alive with this. I just don't see me winning now. Hero power ain't changing it, right? Matter where misplays don't matter anymore. Of course it does. They would have utterly destroyed me if they didn't misplay. They they just my deck is very weak. When 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 what you're playing is a full turn playing a bear and they play a three mana, grab that card and put it into your deck. Not even return to hand and summon a four four and have four extra mana. And they do that five times in a row. You're essentially falling behind by like four mana every turn. So it's so hard to come back. The only reason I'm just not dead is because they misplayed. Shiny. My shiny. Um, sweet thing. The, the the bootstrap is always a very good card. The bootstrap actually, I think, is the best counter to my deck. Um, oh, they fixed this combination. Seven million cards. Yeah. They had what? Breakdowns, double shadow step. Good stuff. Good try. Yeah, I'm not dead here. Oh, I just am. GG's time, man. I'll still take an 11. I think this deck was Busto. My deck. But you can see the three decks I lost to. My exact hunter. Um, uh, but drawn better. A rogue. And the shaman that both, and when I say perfectly, I mean like practically perfectly, countered this deck exactly. We had a shaman that killed me before I got to play a card, and the rogue that grabbed my mid game and said, Nope, ain't playing it. Um, otherwise, this deck was just sincerely unbeatable. Like, you saw how I beat everyone else. Really good stuff. I think this deck was insane. Coming 
down to these two. I didn't really get to play them much, but uh, just looking at the rest of my deck, these cards look uh, a little underpowered. Zick, hope you enjoyed that round. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Welcome to Gucci, Mighty, Lucho, Chupacabra, Wallace. Thank you, Zick. I, I mean, great hunter. Really showcases the power of Hunter. I will put this up on YouTube, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you are watching it on YouTube, I already mentioned it, but all kind of engagement really helps me out a ton. So watch the video through, leave it running in the background, run another video, like the video, leave a comment, tell me what you're enjoying this meta. Sub to the channel so you get some more uh, of these new meta runs. Uh, leave some feedback about the videos, leave feedback about the meta. I listen, I respond, I hear, and I hope that you also enjoy.